This is the illusion reporting from Malibu, California, somewhere on Spaceship Earth. All right, people. I was having the most spectacular day at my new job working on the edge of the Pacific with the magical view of LA, super clean job site, getting paid lots of money. I'm pretty stoked, right? Went and checked my phone message at noon. Ooh, day turned to chaos real quick, man. There's this guy who's been sending out emails to these other guys I work for, the party production company, Sicky Dicky, who I work for. This guy's sending out emails calling me a liar and saying that I'm disreputable and the whole thing because last Friday night I was working the door at the Malibu Inn, which I normally do not do, but the the door girl showed up sick and Sicky was sick and Skylar had some stuff to do. So I filled in, man, because that's what I do, man. I'm in the now, so I went and did it. So it was one of those shows. It was a dud, man. No one really showed up. So this guy's all incensed because, get this, there was another band with a similar name and I mixed up the counts. And, dude, it's the difference between six or 12 people showed up to see these bands. Well, this dude went cuckoo for Cocoa Pops, bro. He's been sending out emails for the last couple of days, just calling me a kook and calling me a liar and all this stuff. And, you know, I may be a lot of things, but I'm not a liar, man. I mean, so all of a sudden, man, I'm in the, like, what is going on here, dude? And I would ran into this guy two nights before so i get i'm talking to sicky on the phone he's like yeah this dude sent 20 emails throwing me under the bus dude i know this guy i have like normal interactions with the man so i get a hold of this dude on the phone he's like i didn't have your number i go bro i get calls from all over America and Canada from dudes who get my number off of Facebook and you're on Facebook so don't give me any excuses and we're both in this program where our numbers are on these lists and I'm like don't give me that and I go dude what are you doing bro I can't believe you're saying that I'm a liar about this stuff when I've done nothing I didn't even know there was a problem with the head count at the thing anyway I went off on this dude and basically called his bluff and told him he was a kook, bro, because he could have just called me and we could have straightened it all out. And yeah, I fucked up the numbers, dude, but it's not like it involved money. There was no money involved or anything. It's what I told this guy. I go, it's not like a hundred people showed up for your show and I said 60 showed up. I go... 12 people showed up for your show, and I got them confused with the other band that six showed up for, dude. Anyway, dude, it all turned into a shit storm. But, of course, man, my boys who I work for defended me all the way, man. Big shout out to Sicky Dicky. But it was just that low-frequency energy, man. I was having such a bitching day, and I came all unglued and was super bummed and the whole thing. But... What do we do in situations like this? We realize the person attacking us is sick and something's wrong with them. And we have to do what we do in these situations, which is forgive this person. This person deserves my forgiveness, not my anger. As much as I wanted to knock his teeth in and shame him, and pull up all the emails and the paperwork and the whole thing for my bro and ruin him. I didn't because you know why? There's no point in it, man. The guy caused enough and negative energy in my day to day that why would I add more of it by validating his nonsense? Just ignore him and they'll go away. So like I said, man, I'm a little off kilter today, right? But 
whatever, dude, because I got something in the mail, dude, from Montreal, Quebec, of all places, dude, and I just did the video about Project 45, so, uh, and it's positive creations, dude, we're stoked, because, man, that's the beauty of this whole thing, is, like, when I need positive energy, positive energy is sent to me, man, and I needed it today, dude, what did we get? I always like a, lo a letter. Oh, yeah, dude. Here's the letter. Hey, Hamish, what's up? I like your videos, bro. Here's some some of my art stuff. My documentary DV, DVD, Chronicles, Chronicles book, and some stickers and flyers. You can review these things for your views or just enjoy them for your own personal pleasures. All the best from Montreal, Canada. Love and light, Chris, dude. Yeah, Chris. You just rebounded my day, my brother. Ah, oh, Positive Creations, the documentary, dude. I'm going to check that out and get back to you about that. It looks super cool. All right, man. This is a high-frequency being. Creation skateboards, dude. All right, dude. I dig his stickers are sick, dude. Full high frequency stuff, man. Uh, I should turn off the effects, dude. Full high frequency stuff, man. Look at that. That's cool. Look at that. That's cool. Love, man. Love. The Canadians be loving. Oh, look at that trippy thing. It's one of those hologram cards, dude. See, can we get the hologram to do its deal? Oh, yeah, there's some trippiness going on there. Right on, dude. Here's some August events, dude. Ah, Satori movement, all about indigenous cultures, dude. Positive creations, man. I like this, dude. The Sunlight Chronicles, dude, he's got a book, bro. Ah, dude, it's all handwritten, bro. Oh, dude, I can't wait to check this out. To the Illusion, enjoy it all, bro. Love and Light, Chris Dyer, dude, 2011. Autographed copy of his book, dude. You just made my day, Chris, man. That's what the Illusion's all about, man. If I would stayed caught in that negative energy field that that creature had brought to me, I wouldn't be enjoying this, man. Because this rescued me today, dude. Again, you, the viewers, have changed my life. Because so many of you have said, I've done something to boost your energy. And I really want to say to you guys who are boosting my frequency, man. That, I mean, this is it, dude. My frequency is is so high right now it's rad dude and it just goes to show man I created this dude who made my life difficult today in order that I have another chance to forgive and love because it is so easy to love people you like who are doing kind things to you but the hardest people to love are the ones who are being mean to you and throwing you under the bus and calling you a liar. But I love this dude, man. I have to love this dude. Because if I can't love this dude who threw me under the bus today, dude, I will never truly understand what love is. And Chris, dude, I can't wait to check out your stuff, bro. I'm pretty pumped about it, dude. High frequency Montreal style, dude. I love you guys up in Canada. It's so cool, man. Anyway, um, I'm going to get back to you about that. And I got to do some other stuff for positive skateboards and uh, guff videos, dude. I've been a little behind the ball lately, kind of adjusting to my new schedule because I got to get up at 6 o'clock in the morning. And normally, I mess around with the computer at 2 o'clock in the morning, so... It, I haven't really figured it out yet, but I needed to check in. I needed to get my frequency high with you, the viewers, because we're doing this all together. This is the illusion. I love you, man. Let's keep our frequency high in spite of 
People making our frequency loud, man. We just rebound. Peace.